Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Samantia Farm. And as usual, my name is Fred. Today, I have a question for you if you're watching me today. And that question is, what is it going to take for us to change the perception and the ways that agriculture is perceived and done in our continent of Africa? Let me know what you think in the comments below, because we need to crack that case. We need to know what it's going to take. Is it by our government putting in more infrastructures? Is it, um, you know, more access to capital? Is it we, the willingness to go into agriculture? And that's the question that I'm asking you and myself today. But why am I talking about this today? Where is this coming from? Is Fred trying to now talk about controversial topics or political topics? No, that is not the case. This video was inspired by two gentlemen and I want to share it with you today. But before I go, I want to say a big, big thank you to all of you guys for um, the support. The video we released a few days ago was, was amazing. You guys were very interactive. I am so amazed by the number of you that have actually purchased land for farming, which is great. I think the next step is we need to, to start thinking about how we are thinking about it, how we are approaching it, what are we going to do strategically, demand and supply, how are we going to bring all the innovation that we know and have seen and not repeat the same mistakes that our fathers and forefathers have done. So it was very amazing and, and thank you guys for the contribution, for the comments. Um, I really feel like we have a family and a community here, um, just reading your comments every single day, which brings me to, to, to the topic of today. But I wanna say thank you to you first before I go to that. And if you're new to this channel, Welcome to the Sementia family. Welcome to farming in Africa. And on this channel, we talk about um, agriculture. We talk about innovative way and how we can change the perception about farming and agriculture. And that's what we all discuss. So if this is something that is interesting for you and all your friends, please go ahead and smash the subscription button. Don't forget to also click on the notification bell so that anytime I release any video relating to Africa, Africa, agriculture, business, anything, you will be notified and can go right there and watch it. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for your support and the growth and the encouragement you've been giving to us on this channel. I am so, so, so honored um, to, to be able to share with you guys my thoughts, what I'm seeing, my research and everything. But let's come to today's topic. So as I said, this video was inspired by two gentlemen. Um, I don't know their full name because, and I'm going to quote their, their YouTube name um, from this. So a couple of, maybe five days ago, we released a video um, about, you know, um, poultry farm. And a gentleman actually wrote a comment that really struck me. And I'm going to read that comment um, to you guys from here. So this is what it says. Hello, Fred. It's Kwame. It's crazy how upon all these challenges in our climate and development in technology, schools are still using the old syllabus to teach students. The last time I said I wanted to quit schooling in the university because I felt it was just a waste of time and money. I had a guy coming for me, but I hope you really find time to come to KNUST campus to ask the agricultural students if they have any hopes after completing school or if they think what we are being taught currently in the university can affect any change in the agriculture sector in Ghana. And I promise you, you will be amazed by the answers you will hear. The lectures themselves know the truth. The syllabus is old and the level of technology is low. I know the lectures want to do better because they tell us about their experience in other countries, even in Africa, and they speak with so much enthusiasm on their faces. And when it comes to their own country, Ghana, all they can do is hope for change. And this was from Kwame Asante. Kwame Asante, I know you are a fan of this channel. And if you are um, watching me, I want to say a big, big thank you for this comment. And I always tell myself, like, I'm not, 
I'm not a funny guy. This channel is not for entertainment. This channel is for education. This channel is for motivation. This channel is for community, right? Change in, in farming, in agriculture, in Africa. And for you to take your time and write such a thoughtful and deep um, comment, I think we will all appreciate it. So a big, big, big thank you. And if you're watching me, I want to encourage you as well. This is not an entertainment channel. So pour you out there, share with us what you experience are. But this is a student who is in, in the university, um, KNUST um, in, in, in Ghana, which is in Kumasi studying a Greek. And you could see and, 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 and feel the frustration or the lack of hope in this student's voice through this test, right? And that's why today I'm asking ourselves, what is it gonna take? Is it the schooling? Is it what we are doing? Is it what I'm doing? Is it what you and I are doing? Is it your comments? Is it we building such a digital community? And that's why I'm asking you to write what you guys think in the comments below so that other people can also read. But what Kwame is saying is not just unique to KNUSD. If anybody is um, watching me from the University um, of KNUSD, please let me know. Get in touch with me with a WhatsApp number below. I would love to come to the um, to the agriculture class. Um, Kwame, talk to your professor. If um, he's happy to have me, I'm, I'm coming to Ghana soon. And when I come, I would love to visit the class. Um, yeah, I, anything I can do to help, I'm available. But I think this is not unique to 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 the Greek um to to the Greek students in Ghana everywhere. So if you're a professor, if you have any connection, any university anywhere in, on the continent, I'm willing to travel there. I'm willing to come to that university, and if only if I can help, if only if I can contribute. But I think this is this is this is a continent world people are studying and not just even agriculture, a lot of other topics or subjects, you know, people study with very little hope. And that's why unemployment is so high because we just go and we read the books coming up with nothing. And, and Kwame is smart, smart enough to know that this is not working. What should I do? Kwame is smart enough to be watching videos like this, thinking about it, right? And saying, what is net? What should I do? Should I quit or should I still stay in it? Right and Kwame, I know I've, I've I've asked you to contact me on WhatsApp. Um, I want to talk to you more. I want to think through with you. I want to see how best I can help you out. Um, and when I'm in Ghana, I think you'll be one of the first people that I would love to meet. Um, in Kumasi because I always drive through Kumasi to um to the BA region. But this this message really struck me right, and and I feel like a lot of us young people are even thinking about this right so i'm going to move on to the second message which is tonight's message right um so tonight again i read another message from the most recent video that we have and that message came from um living with brakofi that's your name so i don't know if you're brakofi but it says living with brakofi and brakofi said something he says i have just four plots in a symphosu just finished 24 rooms for the pigs but in all the pigs pen is 52 rooms but the other side will be a story building so i can have chicken and turkeys on top building the wooden goat house too for the goats it's not been easy being 27 year old seeing all your friends having fun and not and you not Sorry, guys, it's, it's a bit harder to read because there's no full stop or comma or anything. So pardon me. Um, but I'll take that again. On top of building the wooden goat house too, for the goats, it has not been easy. Being 27 years old, seeing all your friends having fun and you not, but I have made up my mind to invest in my future. And the only comment I could write to Brack of you was, please reach out to me. But I felt like it wasn't enough. I feel like Brakofi and people like Kwame Asante are not are not alone. There are a lot of young guys out there that are making such a move, right? And they feel like, you know, it's, it, it, it sometimes could feel lonely. It sometimes could feel very frustrating, right? It sometimes could feel like, what am I even doing, you know? I look at what all other people are doing. Why am I thinking this way? Why can't I just follow the sheep? And all of us do the same thing, right? So for you to take the time and also comment on this, 
kudos man like i i really respect that i don't know you i don't you said you're 27 year old just a little a few years younger than me right um but i respect you a lot for doing this and if kwame and and kofi if you're watching me please comment on this video and i'm gonna pin it so that so share your story tell us more so that people can read more about what you're thinking and doing um i want to pin it on this comment so that other people can see it as well but it, it really pushed me out of my couch to come here and talk to you guys because I feel like these two messages is it, something that we need to talk about. And I want to encourage you guys that to me, I ask, what is it going to take? And I think to me, my answer, I know you've all written your comment. If you haven't, please write it before you listen to my answer. But I think what it's going to take is people like Asante and Kofi asking the right question, question how things are, right? Because as human beings, if we don't even question who we are and the things that we do, then we are just living life in a default mode. We are not living the life of who we are truly, right? So questioning your education, questioning what is being taught in class, comparing it to what the reality is on, is what is going to change the agriculture industry, right? Kofi, a young guy like you, you know, neglecting all the fans and, and the joy that your friends are doing and staying focused and saying, I'm going to build on my dream. It's what is going to change and differ you from your friends. And to me, what is going to, what is going to take for us to change the agriculture industry is having more people like Kwame Asante and Brakofi, right? Who are committed, who has a vision and who are asking the questions, right? And wanting to do something different. So I want to encourage all the youth everywhere in Kenya, in Nigeria, um, in anywhere, in Zimbabwe, in Tanzania, in Uganda, watching me, that we, the youth, are exposed so much. We all have a, a cell phone, right? We, 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 we watch videos on YouTube all the time, on Facebook. We, we have Google, right? Let's research. Let's ask ourselves these questions. Right. Let's let's bring the innovation, the technology, all the great ideas that are sitting in our mind. Let's take the step like Kofi is doing. Right. A young guy has 27, you know, building chicken pen, has a pig um, pen, you know, thinking about goats and all those things. Give Kofi five to ten years. Kofi will be far off than all his friends that he's talking about. And, and you know, to just add a little bit to you, Kofi. I joined Facebook in 2009. And when I joined Facebook in 2009, I was very young. I never joined Facebook to make friends. I joined Facebook to make money. I was creating events on Facebook that then in 2009 was making me about $20,000 just from Facebook. From 2009 to about 2000 and maybe 15, Facebook to me was just a business platform. So I didn't have any of my friends from high school. I didn't have any of my friends from childhood on Facebook. It was just a business tool for me. And that, I felt what you were feeling. And that's why your message kicked me so much because I've been in your shoes when I was 18, when I was 19. I was focused and by, by the time I hit 20, I had about two, three businesses in Ghana. And I made most of what I have now in Ghana, just by being focused, just by not having friends that were doing something that I wasn't interested in. So I feel you and I want to encourage you. You're not alone. Um, I don't know when I'm going to share m my life story with you guys, but I'm prepping towards that. But I, I want to encourage you that you are not alone. I've been in those shoes, uh, but look at where that has gotten me. I have the freedom to travel anywhere that I want to, any project that I want to, any idea that comes to my head, I just do it. And because of the hard work I put into it when I was 18 years old. And I want to encourage you to continue doing that. And I know everybody watching me is going to encourage you guys as well. And I know there is more of you. Let me see you talk right in the comment. Contact me. Um, I said it three days ago in our previous video you know, about the community that we're building and how we can come together and support each other, right? So share this video, guys. Let's 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 draw more people, people that need to hear what we are doing, people that need to see this movement to change agriculture and the, and the farming industry in Africa. 
um, so that we can grow. Um, you know, I, I, I get very passionate about this, guys. You, you, you two guys have, have touched a place in my heart. Um, and I, as a young guy as well, I feel you guys. I want to connect with you. I want to tell you that it is okay. You're on the right path. You're doing the right things. Continue doing that. And, and, and you will be unstoppable. The continent is young. There is so many opportunities out there. Everything we are doing now in the next 10 years is going to be what is going to run the continent. Food, everything, livestock. It's 2000 and what? 20. And we are now bringing in pure breed of goats to Ghana. You can't even imagine. So go ahead, guys. Go, 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 and go ahead. Uh, and and you have my full support. And I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. But thank you guys so much for reaching. And I need to stop here before I get too emotional and too happy. But I love you guys. And um, I will see you again next time with a different episode.